guys, my name is Indigo and welcome to my channel and this is my James Charles casting call. So I kind of want to incorporate both my glam and my special effects makeup into one look and that is the look that I'll be doing today. So what that means is I'm actually painting myself entirely white, okay? I'm gonna be using clown white, how fitting. So I live in Los Angeles, California, so if you cast me, you save a little bit of money. I recently moved here alone. I used to live in Miami, Florida with my parents, but unfortunately my dad got deported and we could not sustain having a house. So I started off the year homeless and we decided it would be best if I just moved to LA because at least here I would have a chance at what I want to do. I got the paint in my hair. Trash. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because that's also the reason why I got into makeup in the first place. I've only been doing makeup for a year. I tried it out for Halloween on a whim and I posted on Instagram. Everybody loved it so I just kept on doing it. Not just because everybody loved it but also because I found it really therapeutic and it just kind of helped me in those hard times. I'm gonna use the light gray in this Makeup Revolution palette just because we want to create a soft contour. We don't want to create a very strong one. So with that being said, I definitely do look at makeup more like art. Some days I'm a blue alien, another day I'm a gremlin. Sometimes I'll draw Billy Eilish or Naomi Campbell on my face. I will literally put myself into a Mario Kart race while doing my makeup. I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> so you never know, and neither do I. Next, I'm gonna use black cream paint to create splatters all over my face. I actually started doing YouTube last year, however, the videos were literally trash and I didn't have my studio, so I deleted all of them. And I totally regret doing that because people wanna see growth, and I honestly do too, and now those videos are gone forever, which is really annoying. But for a while, I've been just an Instagram queen, but I came back to YouTube three weeks ago, and we're here, so get with it. But with that being said, last year I used YouTube kind of like as a coping mechanism. Just putting art out there, just putting on the camera and pretending I'm somewhere else or I'm someone different just really helped me. I guarantee you I would not be where I am now if it wasn't for makeup. Makeup saved me from a dark place in my life. And that is also why I have the patience to be sitting here doing this. Hold up, I need a lunch break. Alrighty, it's been three years and I'm finally done with that. Next, I'm gonna write fantasy on my forehead, purposefully misspelled, so don't come for me. Some call it cheating, I call it winning. I'm gonna use a stencil. <laughs> Let's see if this even works, because this is the first time I'm trying this. <laughs> Snapped. I'm gonna add a little bit of dots around the letters just so they look a little more cohesive with the entire look, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, next I'm gonna grab some black eyeshadow and I'm gonna outline the shape of the eyeshadow that I want. It's perfectly fine to be messy in this step because anyways, this entire area is gonna be black. I've also completely ditched makeup brushes and just started using actual paint brushes, specifically for my eyeshadows and the details, just because I find I have more precision with these. Next, I'm gonna pack in some dark gray eyeshadow into the lid itself. Then I'm gonna grab some black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna smoke it out. Normally I would add a shimmer, but all my shimmers have some color to them and I really want to emphasize the black and white aspect of this look, so I will not be doing that. Instead, I'm just going to start doing my eyeliner. If you follow James, this should look very familiar and we're also going to invert it right here. I could have done better, but it's fine. So I'm just going to do this eyeshadow off camera. It's just this same eyeshadow, but inverted, if that makes sense. Alrighty, and lastly, I'm going to do a light gray gradient a light gray gradient on my lips, and I'm gonna apply a gloss right over it. Alrighty, that is it for the makeup. I will be right back with contacts and nails. Alrighty, the look is finally complete. As you can see, I added some butterflies, some nails, and my fake contacts. If I were to be given this opportunity, it would literally mean the world to me. Not only would it be absolutely amazing to showcase my art, but I would also be able to help my family through what they're going through, and I would also be able to inspire others, not just with my art, but also with my story, and to let them know that they're not alone. And this is a very real problem that we have in America, and it tears families down, it tears people down, and I want to bring awareness to that. Also, my personality is just begging to be on reality TV. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. Cue the montage.